to use the AME application, you simply need to click on the AME button in the menu bar of the iPhone, which opens up a camera window which allows anyone to take photos. The minute you have taken the photo, you can either use it or retake it. If you decide to use a photo, the photo starts getting uploaded online. In this case, the photo is being uploaded on Facebook as per our settings. There are three other options available which include Picasa, Flickr and Facebook and I'll show you how to change the settings. You simply need to go on the settings tab and click on the change upload side button which gives you three options of Flickr, Facebook and Picasa. In this case we are using Facebook. The settings tab also gives you options to change the photo settings which allows you to keep your photos public or private. It also allows you to provide the location of the photo. You can also play around with the photo size. In this case 604 by 453 is maximum picture size which is allowed by Facebook. Tagging is also an added feature which is available in the settings tab again. There are already many preloaded tags available by default which one can use for the photos. Uh, adding a new tag is also quite simple as, as you can see. There is a different option for weather tags as well. Weather tagging is also available for photos through this application. The other interesting aspect to this application is that one can even forward the photo to others via email or can directly even post it on Twitter. All you need to do is punch in your Twitter login details and before you know it, the photo has already reached your Twitter account. And uh, hey, if at all you just don't like the photo, all you can do is press the delete button. Here we have spawned in September 2007 um, and here we are, we have several of the animals of the September. Uh, Airme is a mobile application company.